In this part of the tutorial, we'll show how to take a static drawing and add some animation. And the first animation we'll do is we'll move the moon so that it rotates around the Earth. Now all animations happen around an origin point, and each layer's origin point by default is in its upper left hand corner. So if I click on the moon, its origin point will be in the upper left hand corner of the moon. Now because objects rotate around their origin points, we want to move the origin point so that it's in the center of the Earth, or actually outside the bounds of the moon. And ideally this is about one and a half times or so to the left, and about halfway down to the center of the moon. So to make that alignment accurate, I'll start by dragging the moon so that it bumps up against the center of the Earth, where we'd like that origin point to be. Now earlier I checked in the Info window, by pulling down Window and Info, and I see that the width of this moon is around 43 points. So if I choose Object, Transform, and Move, and let me move this window out of the way, make sure Preview is on, if I move this a distance of around minus 64.5, which is one and a half times the width of the moon, and click OK, I've moved that moon very precisely. Now to change the origin point, I double click on the moon layer, and I can add a new property called origin. So origin, and I give it the horizontal percentage origin point, which would be minus 1.5, or 150% to its left, comma, 0.5, which is halfway down its height. And then I can click OK. In addition to changing the origin, I want to tell the moon to rotate around its origin point. So let me double click the layer name again and show you how to add a second property. To add a new property, insert a semicolon and then the next property name. So we want this layer to rotate and we want its direction to be clockwise, or CW. So I'll click OK. Choose File, Export, Save, overwrite the file we've been using, and the moon will now rotate around the Earth. So what we've seen in this part of the tutorial is that you can take a static drawing and by adding a few properties, easily change the origin point and add animations like rotation.